Hey guys, it's Leah and welcome back to my channel. So I haven't actually done a piercing video in quite some time. I just realized that the other day, especially when um, a few of my piercing videos are getting much more traction. So I thought, why not do an updated piercing video? Um, a lot of you guys had specific questions for piercings and things like that, which I'm happy to reply to everybody in the comments about and try to help you guys as best as I can. Again, I always run my disclaimer, I am not an expert. I am just a person who over the course of quite a long time have amassed a lot of successfully healed piercings um, and I you know know a lot about them just because I have so many. I have uh, over 20 so <laughs> um, but like I said just because some of these things work for me does not mean it's going to work for you especially if your piercing is infected or it is migrated do not take this advice for those piercings those piercings should either be removed or um, clear the infection first before you remove it um, unless of course it is due to irritation um, or you're having an allergic reaction to the jewelry in which case change the jewelry um, but a lot of this advice is just going to be on healing again um, so my most asked question is about my date piercing and how long it takes to heal and a lot of people are at loss with the date piercing because it does take a while to heal I think people expect that because you can technically stop cleaning it for bacterial reasons within a month of getting it they think that their piercing should heal in that month which is completely not true everybody has different bodies and different healing times it could range anywhere from three months to seven months and plus to give you guys an example I had my septum piercing for about seven to eight months um, not infected or anything else keep in mind but for it to completely heal for it to not be sore, for it to not have the crusties on it, for it to completely heal took me about seven to eight months, which is on the longer end of the spectrum. But that's just to give you guys a little bit of um, background. I have had my date piercing for three, four months now, and it has good days and it has bad days. It is not completely healed, um, but I am in it for the long haul. I have identified that it is not infected, and it is not irritated or anything else, and it is just not healed. So hopefully that gives a little beacon of hope for you guys out there that feel a little lost. You guys know that your piercings are not migrating or infected, but you're wondering why it is not healed. It is very frustrating, but if you can hang in there, it will be very rewarding. You will have an amazingly healed piercing that will never bother you, and you'll have it for the rest of your life or as long as you want to keep it in. Um, some continual healing tips that I really enjoy, I do uh, tea tree oil mixed with water and I put that on my piercing, especially my date. It really calms irritation um, and if it's a little bit inflamed or agitated that day, maybe you slept on it or you pulled it or you can't stop touching it like me, um, that really helps. And the power of the sea salt solutions. Do not underestimate that. If you maybe want to cut down to once a week or once every other day um, while your piercing is still healing, it really works wonders, um, especially if you have a stubborn piercing that you were trying to heal. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on the piercings. No one ever told me this stuff. I really had to figure it out on my own. Um, I did have somebody comment down below about uh, getting their piercing done with a piercing gun. I just want to put that out there that everybody has probably done this, myself included. I have had four piercings done with a gun on my ears, and I regret it to this day. Yes, you can still get lucky and have it heal correctly, but that does not cancel out the fact that it is traumatizing for your skin and it is not the correct way to get a piercing done. A lot of people think, oh, if you get it on the lobes with a gun, it's fine, but don't do the cartilage. No. If you get it anywhere with a gun, it is very traumatizing to the skin. You are forcing a blunt object, the piercing, to go through your skin via a gun instead of using a very sharp hollow needle. So you're basically traumatizing and shattering that skin if you think about it. So please, if you can avoid it and you could be a little more informed than I was and many of you guys out there, I mean, there's no shame in getting it done with a gun. Majority of the people have it done with a gun. Um, 
you, you will run into more problems, potentially healing problems um, down the line if you continue to do that. Uh, so I just wanted to address that as well. But that wraps up today's piercing video. I'm going to do an update on a few different piercings that I have today. I focus on the date. Um, so make sure you guys leave comments down below of questions that you would like addressed in the next video. Um, and I will make another piercing video, hopefully not as long as it took me to make this one. But uh, make sure you guys leave those comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.